What's the difference between a ship and a ferry? A ship and a ferry. Do you know? Do you know what a ferry is? A ferry is a kind of boat that carries passengers and very often vehicles. Okay, and it travels short distances. Okay, it's a form of transportation. It takes people and cars just a short distance. Okay, like look at this ferry. This ferry runs from Vancouver to Victoria. Okay, look at this map. This is Canada, this is Western Canada. This island here is called Vancouver Island. This is the city of Vancouver here. And Victoria is down here. Okay, so this ferry runs between Vancouver and Victoria. It just goes back and forth every day, all day. Okay, it's only about an hour or two trip. It's a really beautiful trip. I've taken that ferry a few times in my life and it's just gorgeous. The ocean, some little mountains that come out of the, the ocean, a lot of trees, rocks. It's really beautiful. If you have a chance to go on it, I would recommend taking that ferry. Okay, so a ship is a really big boat that takes passengers and cargo. Okay, and it goes for long distances. All right, this kind of a ship is called a cruise ship. Now, if you go on a cruise ship, you're taking a vacation, right? So you might say, I'm going on a cruise to the Bahamas. Woohoo! All right, this kind of a ship is called a cargo ship. Look at all this cargo. It's probably coming from China and it's going to arrive in Vancouver. Okay, now this kind of a ship is called a barge. Okay, it also carries cargo. Um, if you go to Europe, you'll see a lot of barges on the rivers in Germany, France, all over Europe. You're going to see a lot of barges. Okay, so when a ship is stopped, somewhere, then we say it's docked, docked, okay, because this thing here is called a dock, okay, the ship arrives at the dock. Now the area in a city where a ship arrives is called the port, okay, so look at this port here, okay, this port has, I don't know, maybe four or five docks, so these ships here are docked. Now, if a ship is not docked, then it's at sea, at sea. Okay, look at this cruise ship. How fast do you think it's going? What's its speed? Well, it's probably going about 25 knots, okay? When ships are moving, their speed is measured in knots. It's not measured in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. It's measured in knots. One knot is about 1.85 kilometers an hour. So most cruise ships probably travel about 45 kilometers an hour. That's actually pretty fast. It's faster than you can run. Unless you're Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt can probably... If he's sprinting, I don't know. It might be faster than 45 kilometers an hour. I've never checked. He's really fast. Okay, so when you get onto a cruise ship, someone might say, welcome aboard. Okay, that means welcome onto the ship. Okay, when you get on the ship, that's called boarding. You're boarding the ship. And then when you're on the ship, then you're aboard. Aboard. Okay, so the people who work on a ship are called the crew, the crew. And the person who drives the ship is called the captain. Okay, uh, now a cruise is a vacation, right? You're not trying to get anywhere, you're just going on a vacation and you always come back, or you usually come back to the same place that you left from, right? So you're going to have an itinerary. Okay, the cruise is going to have an itinerary. That means a plan, a plan of where it's going to go. 
Okay, look at this advertisement. Seven night Western Caribbean cruise, $3.99 per person. Okay, here it says ports of call. Ports of call mean uh, where the ship is going to stop. It might stop at four or five places. It might have one or two days where it doesn't stop anywhere. It's just going, then it's called at sea. Okay, so maybe day one, it's at sea. Day two uh, is stopping somewhere. I don't know, maybe Costa Maya or something. So here is the itinerary. It leaves from Miami. This cruise leaves from Miami. Then it goes to these different places. And then it comes back to Miami. Okay, seven nights. Okay, so some of the days you're going to be at these places and other days you're going to be at sea. Okay, now a room on the cruise ship is called a cabin, a cabin. And the cabin might be an inside cabin. Okay, that means you don't have any windows. Uh, it might be an ocean view cabin. That means you'll have a window you can look out. Or it might be a balcony a cabin. That means that it's going to have a balcony you can walk out. You can look up, you can look out at the ocean, maybe sit there, relax, drink some wine or something like that. And a suite is the most luxurious of the kinds of cabins, okay? If you have a suite, that means you probably have a balcony. I mean, you'll probably have a very big room, very sort of luxury room. That would be nice to travel in a suite. Okay, so uh, you're going to see these words when you book a cruise. So if you book a cruise on the internet or by phone or something, you're going to, you're going to see these terms, double occupancy, uh, single occupancy, okay? If the cruise is advertised for $3.99 per person, it might say based on double occupancy. Okay, that means you need to travel uh, as two people. Two people are going to stay in the same room. Okay, so you need to be careful. If you're traveling alone and you see this price, wow, $3.99 a person, that's not, that's not real. You can't take this price just by yourself unless it says single occupancy, but it's probably based on double occupancy. That's why you need to read the fine print. The fine print is the very small writing on the bottom of the page that has some important information about the deal. Okay, so this fine print says that it's this price is based on double occupancy. Okay, so you'll see this word when you're booking uh, a cruise or a lot of other kinds of vacations. Okay. Uh, now here are some important words. Disembark means to get off the ship. Okay, and embark means you, you get on the ship and you go. The ship embarks. You embark on a journey. Okay, uh, now there's a kind of cruise called a booze cruise. The word booze means alcohol. Okay, so these kinds of cruises are for a few days and they have free or cheap alcohol. Okay, and it's basically a party 24-7. 24-7 means all the time. Okay, so people go on a booze cruise, they get drunk, they party, and it's a few days and then they come back and the party's over. If I get really famous at Mad English TV, if I get really rich, it would be a lot of fun to take my favorite students on a cruise. That'd be so much fun, wouldn't it? Should it be a regular cruise or a booze cruise? I don't know, <laughs> maybe not a booze cruise. Um, hey, let's do some homework. If you could take a cruise anywhere in the world, where would it be? Where would you go if you could go on a cruise anywhere in the world? Let me know your answer in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.